You know what I mean? So that you can inspire people. So I think that's maybe one of the most interesting and and tricky things to handle is like how much do you let, you know, how much do you open up to everybody? And and what does that mean when somebody meets you in life and they they think that they know you or they think that they, you know, and so it's it's kind of an interesting dance to do. I think it's very fine line. And I'm sure that happens from a fan's perspective as well. Maybe they don't have as many followers and everything like that, but it's something that they consciously have to think about when they're posting their own things as well. But what's something, perhaps like an Instagram photo or a Facebook post that, can you recall one that you posted that just like, I mean, people were like commenting on it beyond belief that just kind of like surprised you were like, whoa, I didn't know that that picture of my dog would have that kind of response or... I think whatever it is. What? We post a photo of all four of us. Yeah, that's yeah. when it like goes nuts. Off right. When it's not a yeah. promo shot, when it's not something for the show, when we're genuinely yeah. hanging out. You know, whether it be on set or outside of it. But mm-hmm. I think they always like to see us four together. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. I, th- I think one of the most interesting ones, and I think you did something like this too, but I posted the cover of Time Magazine when they... Uh, when they abolished DOMA and, and got, got rid of the restrictions on gay marriage, mm-hmm. I posted that, and it was, like, the craziest Instagram discussion about people saying, uh, like, I hate you, I'm never going to watch the show again because of your beliefs mm-hmm. on this. And it was one of those really fine moments where I was like, wow, so this is something wow. that people are still so divided on that they mm-hmm. would take it as a personal offense from, like, me mm-hmm. saying where I stood on something. And, and maybe that... I don't know. It was a very interesting discussion that actually kind of took on its own its own life, and I, I barely even spoken. Yeah, yeah, those are interesting well. when you read, like, the comments and, like, the back and forth amongst, like, the fans yeah. and people that, you know what I mean? And, yeah. you know, I'd like to say a lot of it is really positive. You get those ones that aren't so much, but it is what it is. Well, that was incredible yeah. with seeing our fans, like, speak out and yes. defend each other or, you know, to stand up for what they believed in. And people were so vocal and so strong about mm-hmm. everything that it was mm-hmm. really incredible to watch. It just kind yes. of built built and built wow. and built and it was yeah. really amazing. The power of this show, you know, and yeah. the power of social media these days too. Yeah. It's incredible. It never ceases to amaze me. Um, let's see. Let's do another fan question from Tess. Um, or no, actually let's do let's do another fan question here. Um, from Emmy. She Emmy asks, have you guys ever read the Pretty Little Liars series? I think we all did while yeah. we were shooting the pilot. We mm-hmm. all just, like, sped through them. Yeah. yeah. Like, at the time, there were only, like, six or seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. we had all of them on set. Like, we were all in Vancouver yeah. reading all the books. Very nice. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the light. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Um, think what? of watermelons. Watermelons. Yeah, watermelons. Yeah. Or why? <laughs> I don't know. It works, right? I, I, yeah. It makes th- I've always heard of because it makes you yeah. think of something else. What about but I would say what um, um, you mm-hmm. gals have been Jesus. successful in the acting realm and as you know as your profession? What advice mm-hmm. would you give to some of these guys and gals out there watching the show who would like or aspire to do the same <clears> thing that you're doing? What would you advise them to do? It's such a big question. We all, I I get asked that a lot. Like, what's your advice? And it's, I think it's just. First of all, make sure you really love what you do. And if yeah. you do, just hone your craft. Like, go to every class. Do every opportunity you can just to be the best at what you love to do, you know. Mm-hmm. And you have to be able to take rejection. I yes. mean, rejection is yeah, an think, everyday part of this, yeah. even with us still oh, yeah. on, a, oh, yeah. on a, such a successful yeah. show. I mean, we get told no so many times. Um, and you can't let it get to you. Yeah. Also, don't read anything about yourself. <laughs> I think that's, like, a good major one. Yeah, 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 good or bad. Head. It messes yeah. with your head, yeah. Wow. I think it's, yeah, and, and also just that it's work. And, and I remember that was like a huge, that was a huge lesson that kind of hit home. Like my parents always raised me with, but it hit home really doing this show that like, I think maybe a lot of young girls who watch the show are like, oh, it's so glamorous, you get to get in hair and makeup every day and you get to wear these amazing costumes. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, but we wear those amazing costumes at five in the morning when you can't yeah. see anything mm-hmm. and you're falling over yourself and you're, you know, you just long for your bed. And, and it's one of these amazing moments where you're so grateful for what you're doing, but at the same time, you know it's work and you see everybody around you on the crew working their butts off to make this happen. Yeah. And so, you know, it, it just like, just like Lucy was saying, it's like, Make sure you love what you do. That this is what you love. You know, don't get into it for the glamour because yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's about yeah. five yeah. seconds of glamour, yeah. Yeah. And, a lot of work. and the rest of it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. and long days on set, long days yeah. and nights. Yeah. We've created a new a new day here at PLL. We call it Fratter Day. Fratter Day. Usually we'll, we'll shoot into <laughs> we'll, yeah deep almost. into Saturday morning. So Friday night all the way into Saturday. So 
friends. We go home Happy at like eight in the morning when, the, when everyone's getting coffee, but we're like going home to, wow. to go to bed. It's crazy. Yeah. A lot of hard work, but it's definitely paid off for you guys. I think so. Right? Yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to most about this future? Half of the season with Pretty Little Liars. About the, the four or yeah. the next one? Yes, exactly. So the second half of season four. What most excites you about this season? I'm excited for everybody to see it. I think we have a lot of great story, like plots yeah. and twists and turns in the second half. Yeah. Which is crazy to say because we say that every season, but I really yeah. feel like yeah, this, season. this season is like... It changes everything. It changes yeah. everything. Really? It's yeah. super yeah. eerie. It, we just got out of the table read for the season finale yeah. of the season. Yeah, pretty insane. Really so I think like once that hits, um, the whole show's just going to change. Yeah, and um, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, you got, it's amazing like the ground that you guys can cover in one episode. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> yeah, and what a season or excuse me, what a senior year you're having. Right? It feels like we never it. leave senior year. We're going to be there for like six years. <laughs> prom is not happening for another four years. I'm yeah. sure. So prom's not having, happening in the second half? Well, graduation? Well, We've been no, in senior year now for what, two years? Or one year? Well, no, we, yeah, we started in junior year. We got into senior year at the beginning of this season, or was it yeah, last season? So junior year went for two years. Junior year was two years. I think senior year will be two years, and then we'll be out of it for... <laughs> I, I didn't even know we were in Rosewood. <laughs> well, it yeah, well, you, you need to you need to get up on your on your academia <laughs> right <laughs> now. <laughs> you need to pay attention more, huh? Well, feel free to take your time getting through high school. Yeah, right. we are yeah. really enjoying the journey that you all are going mm -hmm. on at Rosewood High. So thank you so much, <laughs> um, guys. Don't forget to watch the Pretty Little Liars Halloween special on ABC Family on October twenty second at 8 p.m. 7 central uh, and of course the world premiere of Ravenswood oh my gosh so excited about that that happens right after that Pretty Little Liars Halloween special of course Ravenswood is the PLL spinoff with Mr. Tyler Blackburn how fun was it to get to see him so, so, nice. so, so cute, cute. Yeah. 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 super surprise. cute yeah. Yeah. we're all so excited to watch Ravenswood as yeah. well Yay. yes we got to tune in for a great marathon Tuesday night um, and if you haven't already don't forget to like PLL Facebook page, facebook.com backslash pretty little liars. Also, Good Morning America on Facebook, facebook.com backslash good morning America. There you can find more information about the shows. Of course, we're going to keep you guys in on the latest. And uh, also, if you happen to miss any of our chat today or you want to watch the whole thing over again, you can. Don't worry. Don't sweat it because it's going to be available on demand later today. And you can also check it out at the PLL, GMA, and the Facebook Live Facebook page as well. And with that being said, we want to say a huge thank you to you gals because yeah. like I said this is a rare treat and I know how much the fans appreciate it so yeah. thank you thank yeah, you thank course. you this is so amazing oh, yeah, good. Thank you we'll have to us. do it again yes yeah. of course awesome and we want to say thank you to the crew that put all this together mm -hmm. for yeah, us of course you. and thanks to Facebook yes. facebook.com backslash Facebook live we hope you enjoyed the chat and uh, we'll see you next time take care bye <laughs>